Hello booktube, it's Eleanor here and today I'm doing a checked out video. I have quite a lot of books at the moment checked out from the library. So I thought I would show you all the books that I have checked out and that I am fitting in with my other reading. So I have just two books left now in Jill Shalvis's Lucky Harbour series. I have one in a million and he's so fine books 11 and 12 I think it is in the series and then it will be over and so I'm slowly eking it out because I gobble these up um if you've been under a rock and you haven't seen me talk about these um Jill Sharvis Lucky Harbour series is um a romance series um in sort of three arc um three book arcs so you have sort of, you follow sort of three friends um one for each book and their love interest in this small town of Lucky Harbour. It's such a magical read. It's so much fun. I just love them. They're just light and fluffy and lovely. They always make me smile and um, I just think it's a brilliant series. So I have got the last two and I will be getting to them soon, but I've been eking eking them out. And then I picked up Our Song by Danny Atkins. I picked this up because it is blurbed as fans of Me Before You will love it, um, which sounds brilliant. It was Good Housekeeping's um, uh, a reader recommended book, which um, I get Good Housekeeping magazine, so that was interesting. And the blurb inside says, David has lived life to the full. He fell in love with Ali at university. Ali walked away from David at the Snowflake Ball nine years ago and tried to forget she's now married to Joe. Charlotte fell in love with David at first sight. She has never forgotten Ali and suspects David feels the same. Joe fixed Ali's broken heart and built a family with her. Four lives interwoven in many more ways than they know. Over the course of one night, everything will change. And I just think this sounds really good and I can't wait to get to it. Next are some books that I keep getting out from the library and then keep taking back when they run out. But I will read them and I am excited to. The first is My Year of Meats by Ruth Ezeki. Um, I really love The Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ezeki. And I do want to read more of her stuff. Um, and I do want to read this one. Um, this is about two extraordinary women, one all-American TV cooking show, an unforgettable novel of love, friendship, culture and food. And I love all all of those things so I can't wait to try this one out. Next up is a collection of short stories and that's Diving Bells by Lucy Woods. Uh, Lucy Woods, I'm on a hunt again for another five star um, short story collection after Sweet Home by Caris Bray and I'm hoping this might be the one. Um, I think I like the idea of the story behind the actual um, title story, Diving Bells, about how these fishermen go missing and the wives go looking for them. They go down in these diving bells, um, which are like big bell shaped things to keep them being able to breathe underwater and I just think it sounds really magical so I'm hoping this will be a really good short story collection. If you've watched this channel for a while you'll know that I tried Robin Hobbs Assassin Apprentice and I just didn't get on with it um, but I have heard wonderful things about her series and I don't want to give up on it I do like to give her a second chance and I've heard that you don't have to finish that little three arc um, trilogy in order to carry on um, if you don't mind about being spoiled and so I have picked up from the library the ship of magic which is the start of the next sort of um trilogy um because i hear that this is um uh, much a uh, much easier read so it's book one of the live ship traders i didn't want to buy it um, because of my um, response to her Assassin's Apprentice so I got it from the library so it was free and it's a library copy so I can just give it a go and if it's not for me I don't have to worry about having bought it for myself. The next two books I have seen in quite a few places recently. Um, the first is Holly Madison Down the Rabbit Hole Curious Adventures and Cautionary Tales from a Former Playboy Bunny. This is a non-fiction book um, and one that I'm interested to read. I've always been fascinated by the Playboy Bunny house. I just think it's sounds really strange um but this is um her story and i just think it sounds like it's going to be fun um there's some pictures in the middle and i just think i'd like to hear about this weird situation that these um hef's girlfriends lived in and um i've heard that this is a good one so i can't wait to give it a go next up i picked up stolen songbird by danielle l jensen i've been hearing quite a bit about this series recently i think maybe the next book or the third book is now out so i thought i would see if this was for me the back says for five centuries a witch's curse has bound the trolls to their city beneath the mountain when cecile de troy is kidnapped and taken beneath the mountain she realizes that the trolls are relying on her to break the curse Cecile has only one thing on her mind, escape, but the trolls are clever, fast and inhumanly strong. She will have to bide her time. But the more 
more time she spends with the trolls, the more she understands their plight. There is a rebellion brewing and she might just be the one the trolls were looking for. I just think this sounds great and I've not read a story with trolls in before, so can't wait to try this one out. Next up, I picked up Paperweight by Meg Haston. This is a book I've heard about quite a few times and I've heard really, really positive reviews of it. Um, I believe it's about a girl and she is in um, a um treatment center for i don't know whether she's got anorexia or something to do with her body but she doesn't want to get better she just wants to disappear and i think it sounds really good and i've, I've heard it's very moving so i'm looking forward to trying this one out next i picked up a classic and that is no name by wilkie collins i've not read any wilkie collins but i've heard a few people talk about um this book recently and just thought well i will give it a go i'll get it from the library the back says after the tragic deaths of their parents magdalene and nora just discover the devastating news that they're both Ill illegitimate and not entitled to any inheritance. Nora is forced to become a governess to earn her keep, but Magdalene has grander plans and embarks on an elaborate scheme of revenge against her cold-hearted relatives. So it sounds really, really good fun. And then finally, I picked up a book that has been recommended by various people over the course of SFF Babbles, and that is Malice by John Gwynn. I think I saw this recently on um, Aoife's channel, Fred Weasley Died Laughing. Um, she was saying how much she was enjoying the series, and so I thought I would pick up the first one to give it a go. It's a fantasy series um it's about uh warriors and banished lands and kings and fighting and a quest probably and i just think why not give it a go it's from the library so that's malice by john Gwynn. so that's quite a lot of books and i like to have the library books around so that i can pick them up as and when in between other reads um and I can really sort of just pick and uh, pick and choose um, depending on what mood I'm in. So I've got a nice cross section there. Have you read any of these? Um, any you could recommend picking up and starting with? Let me know. Let's chat in the comments as always. And I look forward to chatting to you soon. Bye for now, booktube.